Hey y'all, uh, just going to go over a fun, uh, way to, well, not so much fun, it is fun, but it's an alternative way to get through, uh, pinging in PowerShell. Um, so if you are fairly new to PowerShell, you're probably still in the habit of going through some of the old DOS commands. So, um, for example, the old way to do it, uh, you just do a regular ping, www. whatever your host might be, dot com. It works. You can then go through and find different ways to try to scrape out what you want. Um, get the different pieces. Most likely, though, the things that you care about um, are going to be things like the status. Did it work? Did you get a reply from? Um, maybe what address did you get? Things like time and all that. Um, it's still accessible in PowerShell doing it other ways. Um, but for the most basic part, there's actually a much easier um, I'd say and better way to do it um, that's using the .NET ping class so it would be the same class you would use in either Visual Basic .NET or C Sharp .NET we're just going to use it in PowerShell and you'll see that it adds a little bit of flexibility to get um, status back um, and then also compare it and do your basic stuff like that um, it also will run a lot quicker for certain things so if all you need is to go through a, a list of things real quick figure out what's online and then be done with it as long as everything's online it's going to go way way faster and as long as you don't get any system exceptions um, for the most part this should be oh hundreds of times faster not waiting on what we just did with ping from the uh, window shell way of doing it um, so the way we're going to do it is the first thing is we need to do a new object and then we need to find the .NET class that we want to use so for us it's going to be System dot net dot network information dot ping. Okay, so there we go. There is a new object, but we actually want to use it in a variable so that we can easily get back to it. So we're going to name this one uh, ping object. Ping obj in this case uh, for shorthand. So ping obj equals our dot net class new object system dot net dot network information dot ping. Okay, and once we do that, we're going to do another variable. We're going to call this one ping answer, and it's going to be our ping obj dot send. Again, this is just like .NET, so if you're already familiar with the C sharp, this method is already in the C sharp too. And then we do what we want to check again. So I'm going to do Google.com again. Okay, and you'll see we've sent the ping. But right now we don't actually have anything back. So what we now need to do is figure out what we want back. Um, in my case, what I care about is the status. So there we go. We get our status. Our ping answer dot status is success. Um, so again, really easy. But there's other things that you can get. Um, just in case you are still a little bit newer to PowerShell, a lot of times you can easily do things like Pipe it into a format list or a format table and then asterisk it and you will get a lot of the information for that object so here we go we've got our status is going to be success our address as you can see 173.194.115.116 um, and then a round trip time and what class called it um, there's some other things you can do too you can I believe there's more options um, and additional stuff that you can do with the buffer if you wanted to. Um, but the important thing is you've now got something that's easy to work with for your logic and PowerShell. So for example, I can say things like, uh, let's say if ping answer dot status uh, equals success and Uh, let's see. Yep, I, that's my fault. I'm sorry, guys. Um, don't actually need that. We just want the boolean at this point. We're not doing additional logics. That was my mistake. So ping answer dot status equals success. There we go. We get our boolean for true. Um, let's see. Another thing that we can do um, is we can use more robust logics. So I've got a short list of hosts. It's actually going to be internet pages right here. Um, I'm going to see if 
Google, Ping, and YouTube are all online. Of course, this would work with servers or routers or just about anything else that would return a ping. And it is Microsoft's um, ICMP ping, um, just in case you come from the other world doing UDP ping. Um, not very common. And I would assume you would have your methodologies to get that from things like um, some of the, the Linux tools that have been ported to Windows, if that's really what you cared about. So, again, um, we'll get back to this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to declare another variable. This one's going to be file. And I'm going to get... Uh, actually, yeah, that's not what I want. We're going to get content. And the file is host.txt. Okay, and now we're going to loop through that file. I'm sorry, got to put file at the first, pipe it into the for each object. Okay, and do our curly brackets. And then we're going to do ping answer again equals, again, our ping object dot send and this time we're going to do the power show variable for the current object uh, in the pipeline basically so dollar sign underscore and then we're going to close our parentheses and because we're doing it on the prompt line um, multiple pieces we do need to put our semicolon not generally needed in PowerShell but when you're doing it this way you do need to have that um, so um, for each object in file we need to uh, write host that and then our ping answer dot status and then again that's the end of that we should be able to semicolon that out and then close our bracket so if you need just a second to look at this, make sure you've got everything typed correctly. I believe when I hit enter, we're going to get exactly what I want to see, which is going to be www.google.com is a success, bing.com is a success, and youtube.com is a success. So there you go. A real quick intro to the .NET ping class um, and doing it in PowerShell so that you can get a little bit more useful information quickly and easily. Um, if you need to script it out. Uh, if you have any suggestions, questions, or really anything, just leave it down in the comments. Um, otherwise, like to get a couple of uh, thumbs up, get some more uh, suggestions that way. Thanks, and have a good one.